Welcome to my channel. At present, a common problem for girls is condition called cyst. Cyst can occur in various places within the female reproductive system. Due to irregular periods and infertility, when girls visit the doctor, ultrasonu often delivers different type of cyst in the reproductive system, such as uterine cyst, ovarian cyst, and tubal cyst. The adnexal cyst is one of them. Many have commented and asked me about the adnexal cyst. So, in today's video, I will discuss about what is adnexal cyst, what are the causes, symptoms, and treatment of adnexal cyst. So, let's get started. Before that, we need to understand two things. Number one, what is adnexa? Number two, what is a cyst? Firstly, let's focus on the image of the female reproductive system. The name of this part is uterus. On both sides of the uterus, there is one ovary and one fallopian tube each, along with some ligaments. In the female reproductive system, the structure on both sides of the uterus including the ovary, fallopian tube and ligament are collectively referred to as the adnexa or adnexal region. Now, let's discuss the what is a cyst. A cyst is a sac-like structure formed by the coordinated accumulation of fluid which can contain water, pus, air or other substance. Cyst looks similar to blister especially when they form on our skin after a burn. Or if you were to fill a condom with water it would appear somewhat similar. Therefore a cyst in the adnexal region can be called an adnexal cyst. So, if a cyst from in the ovary, it is called ovarian cyst or PCOD and PCOS. If it occurs in the fallopian tube, it is called tubal cyst. And if cyst happen in the uterus, it is known as the uterine cyst. However, if the cyst in the adnexal region or within the ovary and it cannot be completely understood whether it is in the cyst or the tube, then it primarily referred to as adnexal cyst. Adnexal cyst can occur various reasons. In most cases, there are unknown cause. However, hormonal imbalance as well as ovulation related problem can contribute to the development of adnexal cyst. Now let's discuss the symptom of adnexal cyst. The symptom of adnexal cyst are often minimal and in many cases they are asymptomatic. Occasionally individual may experience mild abdominal discomfort or blooded feeling. The diagnosis of adnexal cyst is typically confirmed through an ultrasonography. In some cases a CT scan may be required performed to determine the nature of cyst whether it is simple cyst or a tumor. Now let's discuss the treatment of adnexal cyst. The treatment of adnexal cyst depends on size and location. If the cyst is small and it may be resolved on its own thing, one to two menstrual cycle. However, hormonal bath control pills are sometimes prescribed to regulate the hormones and prevent further cyst formation. In case whether the cyst in the fallopian tube and has a large size, surgery may be necessary, especially if the cyst pulls at risk of causing problem in the tube. Regular follow-up with a gynecologist is crucial for monitoring the size and condition of the cyst. If an ultrasound report indicates the presence of adnexal cysts, it is important to consult a gynecologist for further evaluation and guidelines. Repeat ultrasound may be recommended after two months to assess whether the cyst has grown in size. In summary, the treatment and management of adnexal cyst depend on factors such as the size of the cyst and its location. Regular medical follow-up and consultation with a gynecologist are essential for proper evaluation and decision-making guidelining further step if needed. The most common question that comes to everyone's mind now is whether there will be difficult getting pregnant if there is an adnexal cyst? The answer is no. In most cases, having an adnexal cyst does not pose a problem when conceiving. However, sometimes the location and size of the cyst can affect fertility. 
However, with treatment, pregnancy is still be possible, inshallah. Therefore, it is advisable to consult in the detail with your gynecologist regarding these matters. Another important point is that the adnexal cyst and adnexal mass are not something. Any adnexal mass can be tumor or something undesirable. Therefore, if you have an adnexal mass, it is essential to visit your doctor for thorough evaluation. I hope today's video was helpful. If you find the video helpful, do not forget to share with it your friends. Please subscribe to my channel for health advice, health awareness and reproductive health related all the videos and remember to become a member of our family. Stay with us healthy and safely. Thank you for watching this video.